That is the new Volkswagen ID4. It's all electric, and in this video, we're gonna find out does charging suck? Now, I did this video about a year ago, and we found out that charging up an electric car can be somewhat tricky. We're gonna find out today has it gotten any easier? And we're gonna start out with home charging. This is the charge connector that comes included with the Volkswagen ID4, and it's a very simple device. On one end, you have a standard three-prong power plug, and you can, you know, insert that into pretty much any plug in your house. You get some lights that start to blink, and then this just plugs into the car, and you can start to charge. Now, this is a very simple solution, but it's also a very slow solution. This is called level one charging. It's the slowest form of charging, and this could take up to a couple of days to fully charge the Volkswagen. That level one charging works, but it's very, very slow, probably too slow for most of your daily driving. What you're gonna want is one of these puppies. This is a dryer plug. It's called a NEMA 1450, but that doesn't matter. All you need to know is that this is a 240 volt plug you can get installed in your house. Now, the price on that depends on the house, but for example, at our house, it was about $900 to get it professionally installed. Now, with this dryer plug, you can go out and buy one of these guys, a level two charger. That's right, we've gone from level one to level two. And then you simply plug this into your dryer plug like that. That comes to life. You have the same connector on this end. And using this method, you can fully charge the ID4 in a matter of hours. It depends on how much charge you start with, but typically between like four and seven hours will do the job. Now, if you have a place to do this at home, in your garage, you can fully charge the ID4 at night when you're sleeping, wake up in the morning, you got a full charge, and you're ready to go. This is how most people are gonna charge the Volkswagen. But there are a couple of instances where this may not work. Home charging, be it level one or level two, is typically very affordable. That Volkswagen is rated at about 250 miles on a single charge, according to the EPA, and a full charge would cost a couple bucks. It depends on, of course, where you live and how much your electricity is, but a few dollars to fully charge the Volkswagen. What if you live in an apartment building and you don't have access to regular power? What if you live in the city and you have to street park your car and once again, you can't plug it in overnight? How do you charge out in the wild? Let's find out. So if you haven't noticed, EV charging stations still aren't as prevalent as gasoline um, gas stations. So we're gonna have to get a little creative on how we find a place to charge that's not at home. Luckily, Volkswagen helps us out. So here in the navigation, we can actually see all these little plug icons and these funny numbers by them. These are various public charging stations. Now the number 7.2 is a charging speed. It's kind of confusing if you're not really into electric cars, but the higher the number, the faster it will charge. 7.2 is once again like a dryer outlet that's level two. Um, so let's go ahead and click on one. Let's, let's see if we uh, can actually get charged up at one of these. So let me select that one. It says open now, 7.2 kilowatts unincorporated. Start. All right, so our navigation is saying that it's somewhere over here on the left side of the road. Oh, here we go. There it is. This looks to be a level two charger as well. So about the same speed as your home dryer outlet, but you'll notice this one's not at home in my garage. It's out here in a business park. Now, this is still gonna take a few hours to charge. And my typical rule of thumb with these, um, I only use them if they're convenient. So like if I'm going to my grocery store and there's one out front, I'll uh, plug it in if I'm gonna be there for like half an hour to an hour. But I wouldn't actively search these out because several hours to charge up is still pretty slow. This is more of a convenience thing. Now the funny thing about these charge points is they're actually installed by businesses that want to draw new consumers, that want to draw EV drivers, that maybe want to offer a cool service. Um, but because they're installed by businesses, they can set the rules and they can set the prices. So sometimes they're really expensive, sometimes they're really cheap, it just depends. Let's see what this one is. So unfortunately, it's kind of annoying. You gotta install the ChargePoint app and link your credit card to the app before you can actually start charging. You can't just scan a credit card and off you go, which is a pain in the butt. Um, but let's see if this works. So I'm gonna hold my phone up, use my Apple Pay, Authorizing. Okay, it's gonna click, and then I just take the plug, comb over here to the side of the Volkswagen, 
and plug it in. And then you can see here, it's charging, time elapsed, and then the price. So you can go onto the charger individually and see how much it's gonna cost you to fill up your EV, or you can download an app like PlugShare, and PlugShare is basically Facebook for nerdy EV drivers, and folks charge up and they basically publish to this uh, community site how much the different chargers cost. So here we can see 4845 Pearl. This cost is gonna be $1.50 per hour for the first four hours, and then $5 per hour after the first four hours. So that could get pretty expensive. Once again, I only use these level two public chargers if it's convenient, I wouldn't actively search them out. But what if you're on a road trip or what if you don't have several hours to wait and let your car charge? Well, we're gonna have to step up to level three. That's when we get into supercharging or fast charging. At this charge point, we are at 33% state of charge, 82 miles of range remaining, and it will take almost nine hours to get to a full charge. Not really realistic. Let's see if we can get that time down. All right, well, here we are at um, another EV charger, but this time a level three, so this one should be significantly faster. On a fast charger like this, Volkswagen says that the ID4 can charge from zero to about 80% in roughly 40 minutes or so, which is significantly faster. Now, just like that charge point we went to, most of the fast chargers require their own account or membership, which is super annoying. It'd be like having to have a different app to fill your gas car up at Shell, and a different app for Sinclair. Uh, it's just, ah, really frustrating, but we'll see how this works. So I have a special EVgo app here in my phone. Now with the DC fast chargers, there's actually two different types of plugs. So there's one called CHAdeMO and one called CCS. The Volkswagen is gonna use a CCS, and this is a 50 kilowatt charger, so much faster than the 7.2 we were at, but still pretty slow. All right, we're initializing so I can remove the connector. You can see it's a little bit bigger because we're gonna be pulling a lot more current here. Pop it open. I gotta remove this little uh, dongle so I can uh, release the full CCS port, as it's called. And plug it in. Charging, so we can see we're currently at 33%. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the car, see how, says it, how long it'll take to charge. The car is saying one hour and 15 minutes left charging, and this is from 33% all the way up to 100%, but this is pretty unrealistic. Let me show you why. Now EVs do charge much slower from 80 to 100% than from like zero to let's say 80%. So I'm gonna actually drag the charge limit down to 80%, and you can see that really took down our time a lot. So we went from an hour 15 to just 45 minutes. And um, that's because it's kind of like people filling into a, a big crowded stadium. When the stadium is empty, all the electrons can just stream on in and fill in every seat. But as the stadium gets more full, the little electrons have to like crawl over their buddies and it becomes much more jam packed. It's kind of like how a battery charges. So when you're fast charging, you really only want to go to a max of 80%, but even less than that is preferable. Uh, and you can see here too, currently we are charging at a rate of 152 or about 151 miles per hour. That's miles gained per hour, which is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do now is see if we can get that even quicker. So uh, I think we can go to an even faster chit station. This one's rated at 50 kilowatts. Let's jump it up to like 150 kilowatts. So you're probably thinking, what about Tesla superchargers? These are really quick charging stations and they're really built out across the country as well. But Mr. Musk has uh, pretty much locked out the Tesla superchargers for just Teslas. Uh, I can't charge my ID4 at the Tesla Supercharger because it's a Volkswagen and they're fast and they're really convenient. You just plug them in and off you go. But uh, not an option currently for the Volkswagen. Okay, uh, we are at a Walmart now, which can only mean one thing, Electrify America. This is one of the larger, if not the largest DC fast charging networks in the country. Let's go ahead and pull in and uh, see if we can charge her up. So this is kind of a cool thing. Both Electrify America and the Volkswagen 94 are in one way or another related to the Volkswagen Dieselgate scandal. Hopefully it'll charge because in one way or another they're both Volkswagen. So uh, let's see what happens. Now the cool thing about EA stations is you can use your membership or you can actually use a credit card like a gas station. Go figure. So I'm going to give that a try. 
43 cents per kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hours is the unit of capacity. There's our current session fee. Um, I'm just gonna go as a guest, but if I had a membership, I could probably save a little bit of money, but then I have to pay a monthly fee, so it depends on how much you drive and how much you're gonna charge. So it's processing my payment. I may be the very first person to use the station. It looks brand new. Well, you can see here it's a full from 32%. That would take about an hour and 10 minutes. But what if I drop it down to just 80%? That's gonna take 40 minutes, so faster than the EVgo station. But still, not all that quick. Considering we're only at 33% state of charge, I'd expect it to be going faster. You can see here we are charging at 58 kilowatts. Now on paper, the Volkswagen ID4 can charge up to 125 kilowatts. But that's very dependent on the station, it's dependent on the temperature of the battery, it's dependent on the state of charge. This station's rated up to 150. We're only pulling 57, 58 right now, which is a little disappointing. It's about 46, 47 out here. I'd expect that to be a little higher, especially at 35 to 37% state of charge. But we'll let it go a little bit longer, see if that comes up at all, um, and then go from there. So charging up the Volkswagen ID4, well at home, it's a piece of cake and I think for at least the current crop of EV buyers who have a garage to park them in and a 240 volt plug, this is a great way to do it. You know, out in the open, it's been a year and a half since my last video, it still really isn't all that easy. You still have to kind of know what you're doing or at least give it a lot of effort to make charging happen. Um, we tried an EVgo, which worked. That was pretty good. We tried Electrify America, that worked, but neither of the speeds were that impressive and still, from 30 to 80 percent you'd be sitting here for about 40 minutes which is great if you want to go to a Walmart not so great if you want to charge but hey if you're doing it at home plug it in wake up in the morning you're ready to go if you have a Tesla use a supercharger um, and yeah that's the current state of affairs well as always it's been Tommy with the Fastlane Car check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest new car reviews